here I have a red cedar juniper that I collected two years ago and uh, it's ready to be repotted. The roots are pretty packed and healthy inside this. Um, if you don't know about the eastern red cedar juniper, they live primarily east of the Mississippi and are cousins to the Rocky Mountain juniper. They have similar foliage, scout like um, cool bark. When it gets down to the bare part, it's really red, but this is still pretty young. Um, as for soil that I use for collecting, it's uh, basically a mulch, but it breaks down really well, as you can see. It leaves a lot of air, um, drains really well, retains moisture really well. And uh, I'm going to style this in the literati form. It's nowhere near being complete, but uh, it's ready for a new pot. And I don't want to wait two more years to put it in a pot. So a light styling and a repotting today. without even really any roots. I had to cut something off here, as you can see. And, you know, cut some of these guys back a bit. But other than that, I'm gonna leave the roots alone. So it'll be nice and strong, strong root. Nice and strong. Okay, so I got it all potted with my Kadama, clay, and lava rock mixture. Then I put some peat moss on top of it to kind of help. <laughs> That's my dog. And I got everything wired, most of everything. I didn't do the finer foliage yet, but I will soon. I'm just gonna let this guy hang out. Uh, I didn't mess with the roots too much, so he should be fine. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. Now you might ask why I left so much long foliage on here. You know, it probably should be trimmed back to about here. Uh, but. The more foliage, the better, especially just repotting this guy. Um, I'll trim it back next year. You know, it'll be a lot healthier with the more foliage it has. Here's the Shimpaku that I will be working on here soon. But uh, yeah, the more foliage, especially after repot, the better. Um, I'll do an update. You know, this is just an initial styling. Um, it's also a good time to do it because the sap is running, you know, so these bend easier when the sap is running as opposed to being, you know, cold or super hot during summer dormancy, so. 